Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here. Um, I've got solving systems of equations using substitution, specifically word problems today. This is going to deal with um, a skill out of section AA in IXL's 8th grade math. Alright, uh, we're going to write a system of equations to solve each situation uh, using substitution and then we'll fill in these blanks. So as I read this, I'm going to kind of break it down here. A business owner wants to have a front have the front window of his store painted and is considering two artists for the job. Evan has quoted a flat rate of $162 for the job. So no matter what, Evan's going to charge that much. Meanwhile, Damon's quote is $19 per hour plus $86 to cover the cost of materials. So his is $86 no matter what plus another $19 uh, per hour. Depending on how long it takes Damon to paint the window, these two could end up charging the same amount. How much would it cost and how long would it take Damon in that case? All right, so let's write a, a system of equations. So we'll write an equation for Evan here. Evan's flat rate is 162. It does not depend on the number of hours. Meanwhile, Damon, his cost, Y, is $19 um, per hour plus $86. So there's our system of equations, and we're going to solve this uh, by substitution. So when we say solve by substitution, y is 162. y is 19x plus 86. So we can just replace 162 with y, or replace y with 162, and that would be substitution. So we'll just write this new equation, 162 equals 19x plus 86. And then to solve that, we'll just um, subtract 86 from both sides. That gives us 76 equals 19x. And then we'll divide both sides by 19. And that gives us 4, as in 4 hours. Um, let's put that right in here. The cost would be... It would take Damon four hours, and at that point, uh, the cost would be $162 for either artist because we already know that the cost is going to be $162. If, if Damon was going to charge us, if it was going to take him more than four hours, we wouldn't pick Damon. We'd pick Evan to do the job. So we wrote a system of equations. Then we put y equals y and solve that equation. All right, new situation here. We got um, Mrs. Vincent is researching what it would cost to order flower arrangements for a fancy party. She wants one large centerpiece for the head table and a smaller uh, arrangements for the smaller table. So just one large centerpiece. Weston Florist charges $25 for each smaller arrangement plus $37 for the large centerpiece. All right, so an equation to represent that. The cost would be um, $25 for each small centerpiece. centerpiece plus the $37 for the one large that we're going to buy. Uh, Juan's Flowers, in contrast, charges $38 for the large centerpiece and $24 uh, dollars per arrangement for the rest. So Juan's cost is $24 per small arrangement and $38 for the one large arrangement. So that's a system of equations we can write a new equation by using substitution. I'm going to take this 25x plus 7 and substitute it in for y right here, and I get this new equation. 25x plus 37 equals 24x plus 38. All right, and then we'll solve this equation. I'm going to subtract 24x from both sides. This is why we need to get really good at solving equations with variables on both sides, because that's basically what this is at, at this point. And then I'll subtract 37 from both sides, and we get 1. Oops. Let's try that again. x equals 1. OK. So if they order one small arrangement, one small arrangement, um, 
it'll cost how much? Well, we'll plug that one over here into this equation. So we'll go y equals uh, 24 times one arrangement, because we're only buying one for 24 bucks, uh, plus 38, which obviously 24 times one is, that's a y, is 24. And when you add 24 to 38, you get um, 62, as in $62 at either shop. And even if you plugged one into the blue equation, you'd still get $62. All right, Warren, he's starting a business selling handmade necklaces. He has decided to invest an initial amount of $27 for advertising and materials cost six dollars for each necklace he makes so that's those count let sound like expenses for him uh, Warren can sell his creations for nine dollars per necklace per necklace once he makes a certain number of necklaces he'll break even with identical expenses and sales so uh, we need to do an equation for expenses like I said um, He's going to do $27 for advertising and materials, cost $6 for each necklace. And then we need to do another equation for his sales, $9 per necklace. All right, so Y equals $6 per necklace uh, plus $27. So those are ex his expenses, and his income is just $9 per necklace. So our equation that we're going to write is 6x plus 27, those are his expenses, and we want to know when will that be equal to his income, 9x. To solve this equation, just, sorry, hold up, let me do this all in black here. Just subtract 6x from both sides, and then divide both sides by 3, and that would be um, nine necklaces. And then we can find out the cost. We can plug that nine in for x into either equation. This is going to be the easier one to plug it into. So y equals 81, as in the cost will be $81. Or I'm sorry, we'll bring in $81 after we sell nine necklaces. We'll spend $81 after we make nine necklaces. All right, next up. Um, Last one here. Ella has punch cards for her favorite tea house and her favorite coffee shop. She currently has six punches on the tea punch card and one punch on the coffee punch card. Given her regular routine, she consistently earns five new punches per week on the tea punch card and six on the coffee punch card. So after a certain number of weeks, she's going to have the same number of punches on both cards, basically. All right. Well, this one's kind of the reason I chose this one is because it's kind of separated. She has six punches on the tea punch card. And she earns five new punches per week on the T-Punch card. So that's kind of broken up into two different sentences. So the total number of punches she has is five per week plus the six she already has. As far as the coffee, she has one punch on to start right now and six on the coffee punch per week. Per week right there. All right, so the equation there is going to be 6 per week plus the 1 she already has. All right, so we're going to write an equation here. We just take this 5x plus 6 and replace it, uh, y with it. And so we'll go 5x plus 6. We want to know when are the T punches going to be equal to the coffee punches. So 6x plus 1 over here. Solve that equation. We're going to subtract 5x from both sides and then subtract 1 from both sides so we know it's after one week um, show have how many punches on each card so I'll plug that one week in here 6 times 1 plus 1 y equals 6 plus 1 so obviously that's seven punches on each card. All right, so basically you got to write equations into intercept form, slope intercept form, and then set them equal to each other, and then uh, figure out what each variable 
equals. So this will help you with, um, I believe it's the eighth skill um, in section AA right now, which is solve a system of equations using substitution word problems.